Hi, Leo. I am here today to do your reading for December. And the deck I am using today is the Animal Totem Tarot. This deck is only read in the upright position. There are no reversals. It reads a little differently than the traditional tarot. So, um, I'm going to do the gypsy spread again. I like the gypsy spread because it gives me a lot of information. And the gypsy spread is three rows of seven, starting from the right. In the second row. Once I am done dealing out the cards, I'm going to start reading the first column on the right. That will be the energy that you are carrying into the month of December. The energy that you are carrying over from November. And it looks like you have a pretty good reading so far. Yes. Alright, so let's first start with the first column. The first column you have the sun. What a great way to start the reading with one of the best cards in the whole deck. The hanged man and the knight of pentacles. So the sun, right there, says it all. You are very happy, content, at peace. Everything is, is going great for you right now in your life. You enjoy just being alive and breathing the air every single day. Everything is just peaches and cream. It's the best thing possible. You are taking some time out you are meditating, you are looking inwards with the hanged man here, and you're trying to find that that inner inner um, direction, that your spirituality, that's what you're working on right now. And you have a uh, earth sign around you, the Knight of Pentacles. Earth signs are Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And this earth sign is very patient, very patient with you. And they know that no matter what, they can wait and wait and wait until it's necessary. They are good with their resources, their time, and their energy. And they know they will wait for you. In your home life, you have two of pentacles, knight of swords, and seven of cups. So you are at this time busy juggling things. You're trying to maintain your life, your 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 same status you have had in the past. Something has changed at the beginning of this month and or the end of November and now you are juggling things more and trying to maintain what you used to have. So if things have changed for the different, for the better or worse, it might be necessary for you to look at what it is you are juggling and what it is you are trying to maintain. Because some of that may not be necessary anymore and if you could put some of that stuff down, you would have more time to figure out other things. With the Knight of Swords, this is an air sign, an air sign around you. It's a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. So this air sign is very, it, it, this is in your home life. This is air sign is very opinionated, very knows what they want, and they'll just come right out and say it to you. They won't sugarcoat anything. They'll just tell you flat out how it is. Which is sometimes can be harsh, but sometimes at least you know where you stand with this person. And Seven of Cups. 
there are choices for you to, to make at this time because there has been some changes that happened in your family or your home life recently. And so now there are changes and you have a lot of choices, a lot of decisions to either replace things or to go a different direction, to improve things. You might be putting some some tasks down that you used to do, some things down and stop juggling so much stuff. There are a lot of choices you need to make. Your desires for the month of December is Five of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and the Chariot. So the Five of Wands, you're sick of being attacked by people. You're sick of having to fight back and stand your ground. And you desire it to stop. You desire to be financially independent and stable and not have to watch your money, watch your budget, or ask for help. You want to be enjoying the luxury of your labor. And you desire to finally be the victor, be the winner, be the person that's on top. What you expect to happen in the month, you have Page of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. The Page of Swords, you expect to hear things throughout the month that will help you go the direction you need to go. You might hear a song on the radio. You might hear some people over talking. You might hear somebody in the office mention it. You might see an email. You might see some mail. Whatever, it might be some kind of just a passing comment or a glance or, or something that will give you knowledge and direction. You expect to have to continue to work hard to get any recognition or acknowledgement for your accomplishments. But like I said, with the High Priestess, that you expect to be intuitive. You expect to get this gut feeling when things are right and you're going the right direction. Just like with, like I was saying about the Page of Swords, you expect to hear like a song on the radio or you expect to hear people over commenting. You expect these two kind of work together. It's The High Priestess is very in tuned and very very psychic and knowledgeable with the spirituality and and with the intuition, the gut feeling. And this Page of Swords is doing just that, is giving you guidance. It's subtle. It's subtle things. You may dream something. You may you may hear something. You may see something. But you got to listen to your intuition and pick up on it. And then you'll know which direction to go. This is what you expect to happen throughout the month of December. What you are going to be surprised at is how lucky you are with the Star, Queen of Pentacles, and Eight of Wands. You like have two really good lucky cards right here. Bam, bam. The Queen of Pentacles and the Star. The Star is you're getting so much healing you're getting so so much divine assistance and guidance at this time. And the Queen of Pentacles, the pig, is one of the luckiest animals. And with the Chinese astrology, they are one of the luckiest and they are admired. The pigs are so admired. Pentacles are an earth sign, which is a... Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And 
the Queen of Pentacles is very nurturing, very good with her resources and the people around her and helping the people around her take care of themselves and their resources. They are very motherly and compassionate. So you may have someone around you that is like this, which is going to bring you this love, this passion that is going full force. This is all surprising you on how much you're healing and this person that is very nurturing and you can feel the love. <coughs> Excuse me. By the end of the month, you have the Fool, Six of Swords, and the Magician. So you are headed a new direction by the end of the month. You aren't quite sure on what it is you're going to do next, but you're ready to just jump ahead and just start, just start into it. You know that if you use your sure footing and you are focused, you will get to the end, which will be easier and it'll be smoother sailing for you. It'll be more sure footed. And you will manifest what it is you want to manifest, anything you want to manifest in your life. Because you are very talented. You can see beyond today. So you know what it is you want to manifest. Even if you don't know the direction or how to get there, you will be able to manifest it into your life. And the long-term outcome, two to three months out or beyond, you have the Three of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Temperance. So there was some kind of heartbreak, some kind of loss, and you are healing from it. That's what this star is all about. You are healing from this loss. And you, this probably happened a while ago. This didn't just happen, but it is something that is lingering and staying with you because it was so strong, strong of an impact on you. Whatever this heartbreak was, it could be you found out something about yourself. It could be somebody actually hurt you emotionally, you broke up in a relationship, something was really strongly affected you and it's taken you several months to get over it, to heal from it, to, to learn and move on. But you are, you are two to three months out, you are moving on from it. And you are thinking fondly of a past friendship, a past relationship, and at a time when it was so innocent and pure and, and very, very, um, you didn't expect anything from each other. It was very innocent. But you have learned how to balance that out that the past and the present, you have learned to balance it out. In the end, what a beautiful card to get. You have learned how to balance everything out in your life. Your work, family life, your your energy with, with dwelling on the past and living in the future. You have learned how to live in the now. This looks like you're going to have a really good month of December. You are going a new direction and manifesting what you want to manifest. And your future, long-term outcome, looks really good too. Ending with you learning to balance, getting that rainbow, that happiness. I hope you have a great holiday season. 
and I'll talk to you again next year. Bless you all.